Before 1948, my grandmother was studying to become a teacher. She had a great future. Everything changed after the com Ch Chinese Communist Party proclaimed the establishment of the People's Republic of China. There were no more social classes, and everybody became peasants. It was one of Mao's attempts to modernize the Chinese economy. Every village in the country had communes. Everything happened in the communes, like the entertainment and meals. For my grandmother, all the steel objects in her home, like pans or knives, were taken away to make steel in the backyard furnaces, which later turned out worthless. All these changes in the country were to encourage the ideals of communism. However, it failed epically, and by 1960, the plan was abandoned. As a result from the failure, tens of millions of people are thought to have starved to death because not enough food was produced. By 1962, my grandma's life has gotten better, but in order to support her family, she had to quit the last year of her education. Her father recovered from an illness thanks to her efforts. But this day, she still wishes she had gone to school. Also, in that year, my grandma met my grandpa when he was in the army. They then got married in the spring of 1963. My mother was born in 1964. Then my uncles were born in 1967 and 1970. Then there comes the Great Cultural Revolution in 1966. Mao stated that all the old culture should be abolished in order to stable socialism. So throughout the whole country, people destroyed everything that reminded the old ways. A Buddhist temple was destroyed near where my grandma lived. It was a dark moment in China's history. Afterwards, my mother and my uncles grew up. My mother married my father, and I was born in a hospital in Shenzhen. Recently, my grandparents came to the U.S. to visit. My mother and my stepfather showed them around the country. I'm glad that they lived to see this day.